so that there's no misunderstanding today. This is a peaceful protest. This is a riot. We can tell the difference. The governor can tell the difference. Our law enforcement officers can tell the difference. In the event you didn't get that, let me show you something. This is a peaceful protest. This is looting. If you loot, the next thing you can try to steal is something off of your food tray at the county jail because you're going to jail. That's a guarantee. And we're going to enjoy taking you down there. Some people are slow learners. <laughs> this is peaceful protest. This is violence. It's not acceptable. I truly believe in our God-given right and our constitutional right to speak openly and freely to address our government. That's important. We listen every day. But I've also watched across this country when law enforcement officers who put their life on the line were told to stand down, allow them to burn the precinct, allow them to rob and loot. You have no idea, Governor and Speaker and President of the Senate, how proud we are of you just being here and saying we're going to introduce this legislation, but just being here and saying that you support us. The men and women of law enforcement that write you a ticket today will stand in front of a bullet for you tonight. The men and women of law enforcement who you throw a brick at today will jump in a river to keep you from drowning tonight. I want you to remember that. We're not the enemies. We're your friend. We're your friend when you don't have any friends. We're the ones that make a positive difference in your life when nobody else will help. We're the ones that every time you dial 911, we respond. The reason we can do that with strength and energy is because we have Governor DeSantis and we have Speaker Sprawls and we have our President Wilton Simpson of the Senate and we have great leaders in our police departments and our sheriff's offices. So Governor, please know we are eternally grateful and Chris, Wilton, you all are the best. Thank you. We will stand in the gap between good and evil. Make no mistake about it. Everyone in this county, everyone in this state, and everyone in this nation deserves to be safe and secure. And they are in Florida because this is real leadership.